Hello guys, welcome on Tesla Adventures. In this video today, we are going to discuss the equilibrium angle of hanging bodies. So let us suppose that there is a semi ring. You can see this semi ring, and this semi ring is being hinged uh, from this point. And we have already discussed in the important points of center of mass that in uh, the equilibrium position the center of mass and the hinge would lie on the vertical line otherwise the center of mass uh, would uh, be producing some torque about the hinge which would rotate this uh, object about the hinge till it attains equilibrium therefore when it is in equilibrium then we can say that this angle is the equilibrium angle and center of mass and the hinge lies on the vertical line this is com now in this part we are going to discuss about the value of this angle so we know that the center of mass is at a distance of 2r by pi for the semi ring and this is r and this angle is 90 degree because this is the bisector line so we can say that for this semi ring tan alpha is equal to this 2r by pi this is perpendicular and this is base divided by r so tan alpha is equal to 2 by pi so alpha is equal to tan inverse 2 by pi for the semi ring now for semi disc we know that this distance is 4 r by 3 pi and this is r and this is 90 obviously so tan alpha is equal to 4 r by 3 pi divided by r so cancelling this r with r tan alpha is equal to 4 by 3 pi and alpha in this case is equal to tan inverse 4 by 3 pi now in this case you can see that there is a L shaped rod and this angle is 90 degree and in this rod you can easily imagine that the angle uh, bisector line would not be horizontal in equilibrium position so this angle would be 45 and let's suppose this is beta and this angle would also be 45 so you can see that beta plus alpha plus 45 degree the sum of these three angles would be equal to 180 and therefore beta would be equal to 135 minus alpha and we also know that the distance of center of mass from uh, the apex point is equal to l by 2 root 2 this is l by 2 root 2 okay so this distance is l by 2 root 2 this one and this is l so we can use sine law so according to sine law we can see using sine law this is l divided by this is sine beta and it is equal to l by 2 root 2 divided by alpha sine alpha so cancelling l with l sine alpha into 2 root 2 is equal to sine beta and we know the value of beta is this one so 2 root 2 sine alpha is equal to sine 135 minus alpha okay so you can open this by the identity sine a minus b so it would be sine a cos b minus cos a sin b okay so this is 2 root 2 sin alpha 
is equal to now you know that sine 135 is 1 by root 2 this is cos alpha and cos 135 is minus 1 by root 2 so this is sine alpha so you can see that 3 sine alpha is equal to cos alpha and therefore we can say that tan alpha is equal to 1 by 3 so alpha is equal to tan inverse 1 by 3 so this is the equilibrium angle of these rods you can do one more thing that you can uh, balance the torque of these two rods individually about hinge in which you have to assume that the center of mass of this rod is at this point L by 2 and mg is acting in the downward direction and the COM of this rod would be at this point and mg would be acting in the downward direction. Now you can write down the torque of both these two forces about hinge and you can balance out these two torques and after which you would be getting this angle tan inverse 1 by 3. So this was the complete analysis of equilibrium angle and in the other kind of objects you can find out this equilibrium angle just by this analogy that center of mass and hinge always lie on the vertical line in equilibrium condition. So in the next video we are going to discuss the center of mass frame to solve the collision problems. Thank you.